Today is February 27th, and once again, I'm going to be taking a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpileon, and let's jump straight in. Starting things off, this week's ultimate reward is the ultimate mixtape weapon charm. Now, all things considered, I'm not usually a fan of these weapon charms as the ultimates. That being said, I don't expect it to be a coating or a piece of armor every week, and as far as charms go, this is one of the better ones in my opinion. Still probably a skip from me, but I don't think this is a terrible item to pick up. Anyways, moving over to the store, all of the Mark IV bundles and the Lunar New Year things are all still here. I would expect this to maybe be the last week that they are present, as the new Cyber Showdown event starts next week, and I would expect a shop refresh with all the new Chimera bundles releasing on that day. That hasn't been confirmed, so they could still be here at that time, but if you are planning on picking them up, do take that into consideration. As for today's daily, you can get the Acid Burn Weapon Coating, which is on sale for 200 credits. This was released at 300 and was only for the AR, but now I believe it is fully cross-core for all of your other weapons, and for its pretty low price, honestly, this is a solid one. And it is one of my preferred coatings in the game. We also have the return of the First Responder Bundle. This gives you the Flame Break Armor Coating, the Farkas Helmet, the First Responder Chest Attachment, the Type HPE Gloves, and the Yield for Shield Weapon Charm. This is on sale for 1,400 credits, which I think is a discount from when it released. I honestly can't remember how much this one was. The coating itself I don't think is anything massively special. It's a bit too similar to the default hazmat coating for my liking. Fox is kind of cool though, it's like a hazmat version of Reach Security. Other than that though, I still think this bundle is much too pricey. 1,400 for just a coating and three pieces of armor is definitely pretty overpriced. But we do actually have one completely new thing today, and that is the Sundered Star armor coating to celebrate the release of the Halo Epitaph book, and may have pronounced the title of the book wrong, which is the one centered around the Didact, which means the Sundered Star armor coating has not only released, but is completely free, and this coating is completely cross-core too. I'm a big fan of how this one looks, and I know a lot of people have been waiting a long time for it to release, so it's cool to finally see it be here. And the fact that it doesn't cost you a penny is also pretty great, so make sure to claim this one while it's on the store, as I have no idea how long it's going to be here. Anyway, I believe that sums up everything. I don't think there's been anything else added that's worth mentioning. I know last week I never mentioned that the new maps had been added to the BTB playlist, but that's because I wasn't aware of that while recording this shop video. But of course, before I do close things off, I need to announce this week's Spartans of the Week. Again, I've chosen more than one because I really liked how some of these builds look. We have entries from a Sea Locks Enjoyer, Void Tier, and Seaweed Sage. If you want the chance to be featured as a Spawn of the Week, make sure to join the Discord. I will leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.